Good morning, everyone. Eric here. Coming at you with another video. It's been a couple weeks since I posted. Um, it's mainly because my son has been pretty sick on and off and uh, just dealing with stuff on the home front. But uh, <clears throat> So here was my plan. What I had planned to do is it was supposed to rain on Friday and Saturday. So I was going to put some fungicide down on Friday afternoon before it rained. The clouds were coming. Lay down the fungicide. I thought I was a genius. Here comes the rain. It's going to rain it in. And then I will mow on Sunday. It'll be the perfect, perfect situation. Well, Friday, the rain never came. Saturday, the rain never came. So here I am with the fungicide on my lawn that has not been watered in. It's sprinkled a little bit, but definitely not a quarter inch. So I wake up on Sunday and my grass is tall and water and heat stressed. So I have to make a decision on what to do. Uh, what, I, what I decided to do, which is what I typically do if this happens, which doesn't happen often, is I water. I definitely water. Um, I have mowed when the grass is stressed out and it is not a good situation. Um, so real quick, I mean, you can already see these plugs a couple hours ago were stressed out. Leaves are starting to kind of fold in and now they're looking healthy and happy. And I'll wait for all this to soak in till tomorrow and then I will mow tomorrow. So water first, mow later. Plus, I needed to get that fungicide in. It says I need to water in within 48 hours, so I was under the 48-hour mark. Is it ideal? No. Um, but uh, the good news is, just a quick update on the plug grow in general. Um, you can see we're starting to get fully connected here in most areas, especially in the front because I had planted these closer together, which is good news. And... Everything looks pretty healthy. You will see that I'm still fighting Spurge. It doesn't matter what I do. So what I've done is just given it to the big man upstairs and said I'm going to let the St. Augustine do its thing and uh, wait until it cools down a bit. Um, maybe at the end of August, early September, when its highs are in the 80s, high 80s. And uh, I will possibly put one last shot of herbicide down to take care of that spurge. But beyond that, um, not much of an update. I will give uh, put a video out on the fungicide. The fungicide, the uh, 3336F, works wonderfully, but I will get into that in another video, give you some details before and after pictures. Um, but uh, super excited about what's going on. Um, sometimes the decisions that we make with our grass are semi-crucial and uh, if I would have mowed this morning, I know the grass would not have been happy. So my opinion is, and my experience is, first, get the grass healthy, give it a nice deep watering, um, and then mow the next day. Even if it's a mow where you're, you know, cutting down more than you would like to, that might stress it out a little bit, but at least it has some water to back it up. That's all I got today. Hope you have a great rest of the weekend and a wonderful week. We'll see you next time.